welcome to the Prognosticators, the show that takes you everywhere in the football universe. Watch as four superfans display their mastery of armchair quarterbacking, bar stool coaching, and water fountain analysis. No one in the galaxy brings you football goodness like the Prognosticators. Football or soccer? You said soccer. Wait, did you say soccer what or soccer? football? You understand Cam Newton and Cam Ra? <laughs> <laughs> you understand that? Throw the flag. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All the highlights from the past 20 Super Bowls downloaded? Check. Computer, let's get a status report. We are about four parsecs from the playoff nebula. We are scheduled to arrive in about a month with plenty of time to stop by Planet Cheesesteak. Here is the crew report. Ben and Coach have just exited the airlock and are tossing the football around in space. I believe Mav is sleeping in the lounge. I was in the locker room and I was like, make him say, uh. I don't need an offensive line. I don't need a running game. I hardly belong in this game. I might be this tall, but throw me the ball. No okay. more questions. <laughs> We have something we call Honest Press Conferences where we give you the real post-game remarks. Des Bryant. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. But what about the tweets you sent out saying that Josh Norman is soft? Oh, right, yeah, Ooh. no, I meant that literally in a metaphorical sense. He's soft, like, he's cuddly. I win games and I got a Super Bowl ring coming my way. Do you plan to buy that Super Bowl ring on eBay? No, I plan to win it with the Kansas City Chiefs because uh, we are um, built deep and strong, baby, and we are going to win this thing. Go KC! Look, I ordered these pizzas an hour ago. What do you mean you can't find us? We're in space. Just look for the big orange ship. I, I got to go. I got to go. What does this correlate with me, myself, and I? This is uh, 50 cents because I'm only good for two quarters. All right, first question. Do you like football? Uh, I, I can't stand football. I mean, you, you can tell by the way I walk on the field, I walk off the field. You, you, you can just tell that I'm awful. I have a terrible attitude, and, but my wife's beautiful. Uh, well, I want to thank Cleveland again for the bye weeks. <laughs> Chill it with the sizzle. Thank you, Cleveland. Bye weeks, bye weeks, bye weeks. I'm too legit to quit. How you like me now, baby? I used to live downtown 121st Street because girls just want to have fun. I will not be getting fired. I'm one of the best coaches in the game. If they fire me, the whole thing is going down the drain. But my offensive coordinator, Dom Capers, love you, bud. Peace out. First question. Checking the sources. Dom Capers is actually the defensive coordinator for the Green Bay Packers. Nice try, Mav. Now, back to the awesomeness. And for the teams that won, well, you get a well-earned pat on the back. But for the teams that lost, well, this is for you. Pittsburgh Steelers, even though you lost, you're ahead of the division. You don't have to win them all. And with Ben out for four to six weeks, you probably won't. Green Bay Packers, even though you lost, sports therapy does wonders. Cincinnati Bengals, even though you lost, at least your linebacking core isn't in jail yet. Green Bay Packers up there in Lambeau, even though you lost. Ha ha, Clinton Dix caught you two interceptions. And I just wanted to say, ha ha, Clinton Dix. Cleveland, even though you lost, Mr. Kessler has got moxie. And the Buffalo Bills, even though you lost, Rex Ryan knows he can't catch a break at all. Hey, maybe, just maybe, Nah. No. No. Absolutely not. No. Right now, we're going to take you to our international correspondent. Yes, his name is Mr. Bartholomew Jenkins. Hey, everyone. Good to see you. Hi, uh, prognosticators. Who do you think is really positioning themselves well to make the playoffs and make a deep run and play in February. Right, right, because I've been watching all the games. And I can tell you this, those Patriots from New England, 
the, the, the new version of us, right? They're like newer and better. I agree with you on that conspiracy. I mean, I don't have any inside information exactly. Simple question, football or soccer? There is no soccer. It's not a question. It's not a valid question. It's football and then it's football. Okay. Dear Diary, something stinks, and it stinks really bad. It's the NFL. Gameplay stinks. Officiating stinks. Dear Diary, it's Bartholomew. Obviously, I'm a curse of my word to put you all through 24 quarterbacks in 30 years. <laughs> this week's topic for Kool-Aid... A two-tone topic. Bye weeks. Thursday night football. Merge the two. So if you play on Thursday night, then your bye week is on Sunday. You know, losing the Sunday game, but you got the Thursday game, and there's just not a lost week. Peace out. Yeah. We just 14. I just got my, go. my, my touchdown. My touchdown thing I would do would be like this. Uh. Like that. I just figured it out. That's awesome. Thanks. That works. That works well. A touchdown dance like that. Just all it's all, all, all hearts. It's all hearts.